Good evening. Welcome to StarQuest, the search for the stolen scriptures. I will give nothing away. We might find the scriptures. We might not. It's a bit of a mystery. So please welcome a billion kindergartners through fifth grade as you enjoy StarQuest. In a galaxy far away, in the not too distant future, the starship StarQuest J316 is on a mission spreading God's love in the greater Omega Galaxy. Paper has been outdated, and all written communication is now digital. Believers in the galaxy rely entirely on their cyber Bibles and have forgotten the outdated practice of Bible memorization. <laughs> functioning normally, Captain. We are approaching an uncharted world's planet B6241. It appears to be inhabited. This could be a new opportunity to share God's love. Agreed. Proceed with our standard communication greeting on screen. Greetings to the inhabitants of planet B6241. We are StarQuest J316 on a mission to spread the good news to the planets in the Omega Galaxy, requesting permission to transport down to the surface. Hmm, that's strange. The transmission didn't go through. Trying again. Greetings, inhabitants of planet B6241. 
We are StarQuest J316, requesting permission to transport down to surface. Captain, I'm not signaling any electronic signals coming from the surface. This planet does not seem to have any interstellar communication capability. All right, let's take the ship in for a surface landing. Zeta, please notify Chief Engineer Stella for our Bible introduction to prepare our Bible introduction modules and our portable replicators in case these citizens are in need of food and clothing. Yes, Commander. Message sent. Approaching planet B6241, reducing speed for atmospheric entry, initiating landing procedures. Captain, believe I have encountered something strange in the intergalactic Bible database. Strange? What do you mean strange? I just tried to access the Bible verse. The verse, it, it wasn't there. Wasn't there? What do you mean wasn't there? What is it, Boogie? It wasn't there. It's the Intergalactic Bible Database, our only scripture source for generations. There's no way it could just not be there. That's how we read the Bible. Perhaps it is malfunctioning. Did you try blowing on it? I do not see how blowing on it will. I'm joking, Zeta. Ancient electronics sometimes used to start if you hit them or blew into them. Fascinating. Well, it looks like I'm still able to access our mission verse, but just to be safe, will you look into it, Zeta? Wonderful. I'm sure Zeta will be able to reboot the system and we will be able to read the scriptures again in no time. Landing is complete. Ready to disembark StarQuest J316. Let's go, crew. Tablets out. As you know, our mission verse is Mark 12:29 through 31. And what's our mission? To boldly show the love of God to everyone we
Look at them, getting off their ship without a care in the world. You're pretty diabolical, sir. I am so excited to start working with you. It's not often you get to be the apprentice of a real villain. Do you think they suspect what we're doing? They have no idea, and now all we have to do is finish erasing the Bible from the Bible database verse by verse so nobody notices anything's wrong until long after I've delayed the whole thing. Brilliant! Soon the intergalactic Bible database will be no more. Mwah! Ah! 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 <laughs> no, 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 you can't giggle if you're going to be diabolical. Villains don't giggle for heaven's sake. You need to laugh like this. Mwah! Ah! 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 And then twirl your mustache. Ah! Permission to twirl my hair, sir? Granted. Mwah! <laughs> no, let me write it down for you. You start with the mwah. If you're low, then get a little louder. Ugh, we'll work on it. Greetings, visitors. I'm Cameron. Welcome to our planet, Harmonia. Thank you. We are the crew from StarQuest J316. Wow, a starship? Does it fly? He says, of course the starship flies. Wow, who, er, what is that? He's a boogie walk, and his species commu communicate solely through percussion. We rescued him from a meteor shower on planet Rhythmia a few years ago. His, bra his brain translates his thoughts into rhythms, and he taps them out. You understand him? How? I took a class at StarQuest Academy. Our mission is to share the love of Jesus with everyone in the galaxy. We're Christians, too, and we're so happy to meet others in the family of God. Excuse me, Captain. I've been attempting to access the Bible verse, and it seems to be... Apparently, it's not just a glitch. There are many verses missing from the intergalactic Bible database. Hmm. Alert the crew. I'm so sorry to cut our visit short, but we need to get back to the ship to investigate this situation further. Maybe we can help. You are so kind, but I'm afraid this problem seems to be galaxy-wide. These Bible verses have been completely erased everywhere. I'm afraid it's more serious than we realize, Captain. I just checked. The entire intergalactic Bible database has been erased. It no longer exists. No. It can't be. I have Bible verses memorized in my heart. You do? Do you know any verses in Romans? I do. Then let's all go to the ship. We will be grateful for your assistance. Okay. 
does this button do? Self-destruct initiated. Counting down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, oh, God, just five, push four, this. three. Self-destruct terminated. Phew. No harm done. We are honored to have you aboard StarQuest J316. You talk funny. I am a droid bot. I was assembled in the year 2065. My, incredible so my incredibly sophisticated internal processor can calculate up to 2,000 petabytes per second. Whoa, a real robot. Droid bot, and I'm ha ha ha. Zeta, did you just do an evil laugh? I suppose I did. I apologize, Lieutenant. Captain, I've managed to reprogram Romans 12, 1 through 2 into the intergalactic database. So we've got two verses now. Yay! Only 31,100 verses to go. Aww. Well, I'm very impressed that you had actually committed this Bible verse to memory. I memorized this one when I was with my family really young. It reminds me that I can worship God by the way I live. And being transformed by the renewing of my mind means that God changes my heart and mind and helps me live for him each day. What a unique idea, memorizing the Bible. Ancient Earth civilization used to memorize the Bible before the technological age of 2030. Ancient civilization, 20, 30, 20. Thank you, Zeta. Are your circuits functioning normally? I think so, Captain. Oh, uh, why don't you let Chief Stella take a look at your data processors? Right away, Captain. Captain, I've confirmed that the intergalactic Bible database has been completely erased. Well, I wish I had the comfort of Psalms right now. I know lots of Psalms. Great. Boogie, will you enter one in for us? He says yes. <laughs> I love Psalm 103. Reminds us to praise the Lord and to never forget any of the wonderful things he does for us. Galactic Bible database is no more. My plan worked. Yeah, and that rad robot hacked into the system for us without even knowing it. 
Excellent. I'm sick of that StarQuest J316 traveling around sharing their cyber Bibles. They came to my home planet, Amnesia, last year, and everybody loved them. Everybody wanted to know about this god, the one who created the universe. I told them, don't worry about who created it, worry about who's running it. But they wouldn't listen. That's when I vowed to remove God from their memories. But, but what if they find the compromised circuit in the robot's data processor? They won't. <laughs> and now, without the words of God... Uh, and... What? They will feel... No. Abandoned and... I'm the only one with the codes to restore the database. And this is just so much fun. Watch this. The circuits we implanted will make the robot do whatever we want. You're a sweet little bird. Tweet, 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 tweet. Oh my goodness. You're a sheep. Bat. Zeta, what's happening? You're an ancient earth rock star. Oh no! You're a preacher. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Zeta's circuit seems to be overloading. She's giving an altar call. Zeta, wait! Do you have any other verses memorized? How about John 14, 6? I am the way and the truth and life. No man comes to the Father except through me. Got it, another verse ento. I have one, John 15, 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. I love both of those verses. They remind us that Jesus is the only way. The only way to the Father and the only way to bear fruit. Captain, I'm sorry to interrupt, but we have a situation with Zeta. Why do we contact... You've got that right, Bookie. Something has gone terribly wrong. Why do we contact Starbase 23 for an engineering consult? We'll see if we can... Oh, my. Your robot is so cool! This seems like a good opportunity to learn a Bible verse from Romans. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ?
Romans 8, 35 through 39 is, is entered back into the intergalactic database. Thanks, everyone. Yay! I love that memory verse. It reminds us that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Zeta, as much as I appreciate the enthusiasm with the song, we are getting you to the repair bay. It's too late. I have disabled the shields. Deleter will rule the world! Deleter, who's Deleter? that? What? Yes, my what? droid bot friend. Intruder alert! Security to the bridge! Never mind that. I've disabled the communication system. Your droid bots was helpful enough to give me access to everything once I hacked into a processor. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me introduce myself. I am Deletor of the glorious planet Amnesia. Amnesia? Amnesia. No, I need to start over. I am Deletor of the glorious planet Amnesia. Sound familiar? Doesn't ring a bell. I have no memory of Amnesia. Did we visit there recently? You most certainly did. I'm surprised you don't remember. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. I know why you don't remember. No one that visits my planet Amnesia remembers anything. But after you left, everyone was talking about Jesus and God's word. Now they want to follow him instead of me. That's when I vowed to remove God from the galaxy. Mwah! Ah, 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 ah! Zappy, please. Kill. So you're the one who erased the Bible database. Yes, I am. And now, without the words of God, you will feel hopelessly abandoned and will submit to me. <laughs> oh, this is just so much fun. I, l I just love to see your shattered expressions. Wait, what? Why are you not shattered? Why are you not devastated? Why do you not feel abandoned by God? Because your plan isn't going to work. The people on this planet haven't been affected by our sinister plan. They memorized the Bible verses long before we started erasing them. I'm not concerned. They can know all of the Bible verses, can they? We may not know all of them, but there are other people in our family who do. Christ followers all across the galaxy have been studying God's word for generations and to learn how to follow him. He's right, and there's power in the word of God. But the database, that was the power. No. The power is in God's word. You can't erase a database, but you can't erase God's word or its power. And we can show love even if you're trying to hurt us. Love. I don't need love. I have power. Everyone needs love. And God's love isn't like anything else. His love is unconditional. It doesn't depend on who you are or what you do. Wait. You're saying that God loves even me? God loves even you. <laughs> God wants us to show love, even when people do hurtful things to us. He will help us love each other with His love and live in peace with one another. Oh no, you're going to sing.
Corinthians 13, 4 to 8. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it is not rude. It is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts. Always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. That was a nice song. Well, Salma gets some space right for Deleter and Zappy. They've traveled a long way to be here and must be thirsty. I'm on it. Space Raid? Oh, well, thank you. I'm quite parched. Zeta's circuits have been restored, Captain. I was able to successfully reboot, reboot her system. Captain, was I powered down? You don't have any more guitar solos for us? Whatever do you mean. Now on to restore in the database, Lieutenant. Put out an alert on all frequencies. We need the family of God to work together to help us remember his word. Gladly, Commander. Captain, I, re I regret that I was unknowingly helping him carry out his plan. It's not your fault, Zeta. We trust that God is always working for our good. Like it says in Romans 8, 28, And we know in all things that God will work for the good of those who love him and have been called according to his purpose. The captain's right. If this hadn't have happened, we wouldn't have learned the outdated art of Bible memorization. I had no idea how important it was to memorize the Bible. I thought it would always be there for us to read. Christians throughout the centuries have been committing God's word to memory, using it to feed their souls and guide their steps every day. Captain, I think you're going to want to heal this. Check your Bible database. It's back. The intergalactic Bible database has been returned. Deletor undeleted it. Yay! Well, I learned that God's word will never pass away, but it's restored on one condition. That you teach me what it means, because I don't understand how God could love even me. Gladly. He loves you just as much as he loves us. And as we learn to walk with him, we realize how great his grace is towards us and that none of us are perfect. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and all are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. I am guilty. Ashamed of what I've done, what I've become. These hands are dirty. I dare not lift them up to the Holy One. For sin shall no longer be your master, because you are not under the law, but under grace.
my power is made perfect in your weakness. the gift of God. This crew has a new mission, to hide the word of God in our hearts permanently. Dear Lord, please teach us to hide your word in our hearts so that in our star quest to reach others, we might continue to grow in you. In Jesus' name.
is that good or what? That's great job, guys. Man, want to thank parents for letting us have your kids all week. These guys put th over 30 hours in for this performance. This time last week, they didn't know any of those songs. This time this week, they know the songs and the moves. So they did an incredible job. We did video record it. It will be up on YouTube in a day or two, so you can check on, on that, and, and we'll have that. And you can also thank us for get, having those songs get stuck in your head. <laughs> and you get to hear them over and over in your cars as you drive. Uh, we had a lot of help to, to make this happen. Uh, we could not have done this without four helpers that are up here. If you guys stand up real quick, we've got Caroline, Sophie, Katie May, and Isabel. These were our runners. They did a great job helping out. They got their aerobics done sitting down here with doing all the moves for these guys. They were, they were great. Uh, Eli and uh, Tim were our technical crew back there on the back. Uh, they're making that happen. And because she's going to be really embarrassed, Carrie, come up here, please, is our children's ministry intern. And she gave all week to this. And she helped us a lot. And Mr. Dan, who's our, one of our children's ministry special servants, was the assistant director. <laughs> and because she really, really, really hates this, Cammy obviously was the director. And that was a big applause. It is just a pleasure to watch Cammy work with these kids. She's a magician and she's a weaver all at once because she weaves the time together. They come in and they work until they, she sees them start getting tired and then they take a break. And they work a little more, then they go eat a snack. And then they work a little more and they go eat lunch. And they work a little more, they go to the gym. She just beautifully weaves it together for them to get the most out of them in, in this amount of time. So it's really, really fun to watch her work. She's very professional. And at the same time, she's teaching uh, Bible lessons is all the way through as they go. So it's just, it's a fun week. It's a fun week for everybody. Thank you guys for being here, for being a part of this, for letting us have your kids for this week. And uh, thank you guys for doing this. You guys did a great job. So we need, we need to end with a prayer, and uh, then you can uh, find your favorite performer. Let's say a prayer. God, thank you for times like this that we can come, we can, we can, uh, we can just enjoy being together. And uh, for all the hard work that went into this and for the lessons the kids learned, the, uh, the importance of memorizing Scripture and the importance of having the Bible in our hearts and living it out, uh, you're an awesome God to allow us to do things like this, and we thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for... Uh, for Cammie and this crew that, that worked so hard to put this together and for the kids who dedicated themselves to this this week. Uh, we love you. We want to live for you. We want to take these messages that we heard uh, in this musical and live them, live them out. And so, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you, guys.